Love is a beautiful thing. And yet I hear people say love is wicked, love is pain, love is deception. And at the time I was wondering why people associate this ill qualities with this beautiful thing called love. And I discovered so you guys and welcome to my channel if this is your first time coming on here you are most welcome if you are a returning subscriber thank you very much for coming back again click on the subscribe button if you've not subscribed to my channel yet and on the notification bell so you get notified at any time i post up new videos so let's get stuck i'll start by saying that the brain and the heart are mechanism that helps in protecting us as human beings. If a woman should lose her child in the hands of a soldier, she's likely to associate a soldier with pain, with grief, and the rest of them. On the other side, if another woman should lose her child in the hands of kidnappers and got him rescued by a soldier, she's likely to associate a soldier with love, with gratitude. The human brain is wired to protect us. Now, it sounds the alarm whenever there is a likely event that has happened in the past that triggered pain, grief, and so on. And then, when it sounds the alarm, human beings react to it by either fighting or running away from it. And this brings us to the fear for love. So many persons have this phobia for falling in love or doing anything in regards to that because of the countless experiences they've had in the past that triggered pain, that triggered grief. And after experiencing such kind of things, whenever there is a likely chance of getting into that kind of situation or environment that triggered, um, that may trigger, let me use the word may, trigger such kind of um, um, feeling the brain recalls it you know to the person that hey 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 such kind of event cost you pain would you want to go through it and you say no such event cost you grief you would you want to go through it again you say no you say that you fight it or then you just run away from it and that is what has caught so many persons no one to give love a chance again which is experience and association now i'm not saying that we should eradicate every experiences we've had and the lessons that it has taught us but then i'm trying to say that we exempt or we separate ourselves from those experiences and give ourselves the freedom to enjoy who we truly are which are loving beings or love beings the people that came into your life only misinterpreted what love actually means. They have no love in them, one. They do not understand how to express love, too. And they cannot even give out what they don't have. So that is actually what happened. Love didn't abuse you. It didn't, it didn't cause you pain the people that came into your life that misinterpreted this to you with a chance try love once again and you'll be glad you did much for sticking to the end of this video i hope you were able to pick one or two things from this video share this video like and subscribe to my channel if you've not done that and i'll see you in my next video bye